Mercy Hospital St. Louis has some high-tech help. Our co-workers really see the robots as a part of their team. 24 robots, mobile and autonomous each one on a different floor and given a name of its own. They're all going to have a name badge similar to a coworker name badge. Besides their individual identities, collectively they are called Tug, named for the way they tote carts and supplies, even meals. Robots pick up the meals from the kitchen and then deliver them to the nursing units. And we have a patient ambassador stationed on that floor who takes the meal trays off of the, the cart that the robot delivered and takes them into the patient. We station co-workers who we term patient ambassadors on the nursing units and they are responsible for receiving and sending out the tug deliveries. So we use the robots to transport meals, medication, linen, and also trash from the nursing units. Which helps keep the hospital clean. Everything tug does helps nurses and support staff focus on patient care giving them more time at the bedside. They're able to do more of what they love, which is connect with the patient, and less of the things that are really hard, which is like walking around and pushing really heavy carts all day. Considering what the robot performs, Tug reduces the physical workloads on people, reducing the risk of injury. In support services, most of our coworkers walk a minimum of 10 miles a day, delivering supplies throughout the hospital. So we found that this technology lessens the physical demands that are placed upon them. The autonomous tugs reliably navigate hospital hallways. The technology behind the tugs is we provide a CAD drawing to the Athon company. They come out with a little mapper robot and they'll tour around the hospital with the mapper robot um, and getting all the hallways and the passageways that we're going to be using for the tugs. And then they program that into the tug. And then from there, when the tug is moving around on its own, it uses that to guide itself through its routes. When people are on the move or objects like this bassinet should be there, tug's sensors allow the robot to react. Using the LiDAR sensors, it's able to see if an object is in its way or a human's walking up on it. It'll stop and it'll wait to see if the human's going to move around it or if the object is stationary, and then we'll travel around that object. The robots have to go to the pharmacy for drugs and the kitchen for food, which means they don't stay on the same floor. The robot's even able to navigate elevators and open doors, so it does it through door relays and wireless elevator interface panels. It's able to call the elevator and sense when the elevator is free. Tugs also react to emergencies and remove themselves from an area, and they can be easily controlled. If you do need to stop the robot, you just like simply hit the red button. And if you need it to go again, you hit the green button. Tugs have some flexibility in their schedule. For the meal deliveries, we have a website where the coworkers press a button and tell the robot where to go. Tug is considered the perfect solution at Mercy Hospital St. Louis after a successful pilot program at Mercy Hospital Jefferson. We'd love to expand it to our other hospitals. So it's starting in St. Louis. Um, and then rolling to Mercy South, and then we're going to eventually expand to all seven hospitals going down the 44 corridor. So to Springfield, Joplin, Northwest Arkansas, Fort Smith, and Oklahoma City. The robots are not replacing people. Across support services at Mercy, we have hundreds of open positions. And so we are instead leveraging this technology to help advance our coworkers. As tugs become almost part of the staff, they are affectionately more than an object. Our coworkers wanted to come up with like a fun and creative way to embrace the technology. So they came up with the idea to name the robots. A lot of the names are kind of a play on you know, movie characters or robots that you might have seen in, in like popular TVs or movies like Judy or Wally are just some of the names that have been submitted so far.